Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a free VPS from Intel Developer Cloud. Intel Developer Cloud is a service platform for developing and running workloads in Intel optimized deployment environment. How can you get this page? Just using your browser, Google, or using your search engine to find out Intel Developer Cloud page. From there, you should be able to go to the beta page, Intel Developer Cloud beta page, or you will find the list link from this video's description. I will show it there, and also I will put it into my blog post for you to click to get access to it. This page is gonna start our today's jury to get this free four CPU cores, a gig RAM, and ten gig storage space for free to use. The most important part: it is completely free. Without any charges, you can have this VPS to run for your lab environment completely free. Now let's start today's jury. From this page, we can tell the beta trial has opened now. It's been open for a while now, a couple of months already. And in the web page, it says this is a trial, and it's open to pre-qualified Intel customers and approved developers. But that's not true. Basically, if you have an email address, you can get the account. You can sign up for it. So now let's start. A sign up. The sign up process is pretty simple. You just need to use your email address and then basic information. Then you should be able to get an account. Next step is verify your email. You should be able to get the email like this. Create your account. Now you need to tell them something about yourself. It's optional. You may want to subscribe some communication emails. Submit. You don't have to choose anything. Just go to next step, submit it. You will get this thank you page for applying for a developer zone standard access. Let's explore it. So right now I'm visiting developer zone page from the first step registration. If I also in this page you can scroll down or you can Google search Intel Developer Cloud this web page and then go to top menu here to find out the Intel Developer Cloud beta page. So in the beta page you will see the sign in menu. So if you already signed in, then you should be able to get this VM instance selection page and you will find out only tiny virtual machine. This type of instance will be free. It has four CPU cores and a gig RAM. For others, they will charge you from $1 to 18 US dollar per hour based on your selections. So as mentioned, we're gonna use this free VPS, which is tiny virtual machine. So now we're gonna go to next step, we're gonna launch instance. There are some requirements 
to launch this kind of instance. So we will go through them step by step. To launch this free VPS, there are a couple of requirements to do as mentioned before. So the first thing you will need to open SSH public key. It's pretty simple. Let's let me show you the steps. First you need to open the PowerShell. This is our PowerShell window. You may want to also take a look into developer cloud getting start guide to find out those commands or you can go to my blog post which will also show you all those commands. So my blog post also lists all those things for you as well. So to generate public open SSH key, you just need to copy those command. If you don't have it, they will automatically create one for you. And then copy second command. No need to enter a passphrase here. After that, you just need to use in notepad or use in type command to check this key. So basically that's the key we are looking for. So we got the key, we put it back into here. Save key. So now we can click on instance to proceed. So you need to have a public key to start your instance. So now you will see it's a little bit different than previously. Now they are asking you to have a valid mobile phone number. Now we can do click here to sign in use our mobile phone number to log in. So in this page, you will be asked to enter a phone number to receive the code. So for me, I'm going to enter my phone number to receive this key and verify the code. You might get this, can't reach this page, so refresh it again. Or maybe we can go back to our Intel Developer Cloud page by Googling and sign in again. So now it's different. Now it's gonna directly ask you the OTP key. So now let's request OTP for this instance. Um, once you received your one time password, enter it here, verify your OTP. So if it's invalid, let's try it again, request OTP and verify your OTP. Then OTP has been verified. Now we choose I agree to acknowledge this agreement. Then launch the instance. If you are not running any other instance on this account or this cell phone number, then you should be able to launch in your instance here. It will take two minutes for this instance to be fully provisioned. So we will wait two minutes and then come back to continue. So let's refresh view instances. Now you can see the connectivity information now is available. So from here you can directly click to copy the SSH command which you can paste into your PowerShell. 
So this is PowerShell command. Just paste it in. Basically, we're gonna using SSH tunnel to connect into it. Of course, we are gonna using our open SSH key to log in. So yes, of course, we want to connect to it. So permanently, we're gonna add this host into our known host. You can see we are logged in. We have a root account. We also can see the CPU and memory usage. So we got the four CPU cores and a gig RAM. We also can see we have ten gig our drive space to use in here. So now if you follow these videos and you should be able to get your free VPS. Uh, there's one thing you need to notice this VPS only valid for five days. That's a limitation from Intel Developer Cloud Beta. They only give you to run this VPS for five days but it's still good for a lab environment for testing. If you do need to install something you got a root account you got five days for root access for this VM. So in next episode I'm going to show you to run some interesting Ubuntu desktop using no VNC to access to it and also you can tunnel in the port out and access it from public. Keep tuned please Subscribe my channel, give me some up for this video if you like it. See you in my next video.